In 1982, Mattel released the first wave of their newest action figure toy line, Masters of the Universe, introducing the world to He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe, and Skeletor, the Lord of Destruction, as they battle for the fate of the planet Eternia, a world where magic and swords are just as common as science and technology. And today, we'll be taking a look at He-Man's trusty steed, Battle Cat, here on Creed's Collection. All right, everybody, here we have Battle Cat, not Cringer, Battle Cat from the 1982 Masters of the Universe toy line. This guy is fantastic. He is really, really interesting. Uh, look at this color scheme, orange stripes, green fur, you know, red armor. It doesn't seem like it should go together, and yet he's amazing. I just love the sculpt work and everything about him, including his armor, which uh, let's take a closer look at. So his helmet is removable. And this is what he looks like underneath. And here's a closer look at the helmet. It's pretty sweet. It's got that cool looking beak and the horns. Just really, really otherworldly. And now here's a better look at his saddle. Uh, I, I just think that whoever did this, whoever did the work on it, they just, it was really inspired. I mean, look at this thing. It's so fantastic. It just looks like something out of a fantasy painting. The saddle is removable, as you can see here with this buckle strap, but I'm not going to remove it as it does feel a little brittle now. now. As you can see here, the helmet has a little tab, and this is supposed to tab into a hole underneath the saddle to keep the helmet on. Although, I've never really been able to get it to stay in there, and honestly, you don't need it. It stays on perfectly fine with or without the tab and looks great either way. Now, Battle Cat doesn't have any articulation, so you kind of have to hop him into battle like so when you're playing with him. And the reason Battle Cat is actually so large compared to He-Man figures is because he was originally designed for the 1971 Tarzan and Jungle Cat set with a much larger scale Tarzan. And he was also reused again in the 1976 Big Jim Tiger Trail set. And finally, they repainted him and designed a saddle and helmet for him to make him He-Man's good friend, Battle Cat. And now for our He-Man size comparison. As you can see, He-Man is perfectly in scale with Battle Cat, and together they are ready to take on Skeletor and his evil minions. Everyone, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my toy review of Battle Cat from the Masters of the Universe line by Mattel from 1982. And if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. And if you have anything you'd like to add, feel free to leave a comment. I love reading them and responding to them. I review a toy from my vintage collection every Wednesday, so I hope to see you next week and every week after here on Creed's Collection.